Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashim Ali Khan. Last two videos I have explained you the theoretical part of partnership accounts one in the subject advanced accounting. So first video I have explained you the meaning of the term partnership, features of partnership and what are the methods of maintaining the capital account of partners, profit and loss appropriation account and interest on drawings. All these things I have explained in the first theory video on this partnership accounts. Second video I have explained you about the accounting treatment on admission of a new partner. Whenever a new partner is admitted, what are the adjustment to be made? The first very important adjustment on every admission of a new partner is treatment of goodwill. The new partner will bring goodwill So how to make the accounting treatment for goodwill. I have explained all these things in the last video, second video. Now this is the third video in which I am going to explain you the rest of the adjustments on uh, admission of a partner. For example, the revaluation of assets and liabilities, then adjustment regarding accumulated profits or losses, finding out new profit sharing ratio and adjustment of capital of partners according to new profit sharing ratio. All these things I am going to explain in this video. And in the next video, I'm going to explain about the retirement, accounting treatment on retirement and death of partner. After that, we'll start the problems. So before proceeding, before explaining the revaluation of assets and liabilities, take the screenshot of the points. Then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, revaluation of assets and liabilities. Usually, on the admission of a partner, the assets and liabilities of the firm are revalued as on the date of admission. So, it's a normal course that whenever a new partner is admitted, the old partners will make the revaluation of all the assets and liabilities in order to find out if there is any profit or loss on that revaluation, and that profit or loss will be shared by the old partners in the old ratio. So for revaluing all the assets and liability, a new account is opened. That new account is called revaluation account. Now on the debit side, on the debit side of this revaluation, we take all the decrease in assets and increase in liability. So if there is decrease in asset or increase in liability, that should be taken on the debit side. Similarly, if there is increase in the value of asset or decrease in the value of liability, that will be taken on the credit side. But after taking all the debit side and credit side of revaluation account, then we have to find out the balance in revaluation account. The balance is either the profit or loss. If the revaluation account credit side is more, there is a profit and the entry of profit is revaluation account debit, old partners capital account credit, old partners capital account credit. That means whatever profit we get on revaluation that will be shared by the old partners in the old ratio. Sometimes what will happen debit side will be more and credit side will be less. That is a loss. So entry will be old partners capital account debit revaluation account credit for loss again loss will be shared in the old profit sharing ratio that's all so these are the things we have to remember now for increase what are the entries to be passed for increase in the value of asset decrease in the value of the asset or increase in the value of liability decrease in the value of liability here are the entries first of all increase in the value of asset Remember, asset will show debit balance. If you want to increase, you have to debit further. So entry will be asset account debit revaluation account credit. Opposite to this, if there is decrease in the value of asset. If you want to decrease, asset account should be credited. Entry will be revaluation account debit asset account credit. This is for decrease in the value of asset. Now increase in the value of liability. Liability will show credit balance. If you want to further increase, again you credit it. 
तो एंट्री विल बी रीवैल्यूएशन अकाउंट डेबिट लाइबिलिटी अकाउंट क्रेडिट बाई पासिंग दिस एंट्री द लाइबिलिटी विल गेट इंक्रीज सपोज इफ द लाइबिलिटी इज टू बी डिक्रीज देन लाइबिलिटी शुड बी डेबिटेड लाइबिलिटी अकाउंट डेबिट रीवैल्यूएशन अकाउंट क्रेडिट this is the entry for decreasing in the value of liability so these entries you have to remember for revaluation of assets and liabilities for transfer of profit if there is a profit that means credit side is more debit side is less on revaluation account so entry will be revaluation account debit old partners capital account credit the old partners will share the profit in the old profit sharing ratio if there is a loss the entry will get reversed old partners capital account debit revaluation account credit again in the same old profit sharing ratio that's all so these are the things you have to remember for revaluation of assets and liability now memorandum revaluation account sometimes the partners may agree that the value of assets and liability are not to be altered that means the book value of assets and liability should not be altered they want to keep it same but revaluation also they want to make they want to make the revaluation and whatever profit or loss on revaluation will be shared by old partners after that again they have to reverse back <coughs> that means whatever the assets and liability are changed again it should be reverted back to the original position in that case we have to make memorandum revaluation account if they don't want to change the value of assets and liabilities so then increase or decrease in the value of assets and liability is recorded in the memorandum revaluation account if they want to keep the value of assets and liability same instead of revaluation account they make memorandum revaluation account so this account memorandum revaluation account will be prepared only if the partners agree that there should not be any change in the assets and liability so first what they have to do the balance in the memorandum revaluation account is transferred to old partners capital account in the old profit sharing ratio first of all by passing these entries you have to find out the profit or loss on revaluation and that profit or loss will be shared by the old partners as usual how we have done in revaluation account the same thing will be done in memorandum but after that what we have to do we have to reverse the items which are taken on the debit side of memorandum revaluation account that should be taken on the credit side and the items which are taken on the credit side of memorandum that will be taken on the debit side we are reversing the entries after reversing the entries whatever balance in memorandum revaluation account that will be shared by all partners including new partner in the new profit sharing ratio right so first case in the first case they are finding out profit or loss the profit or loss will be shared by the old partners in old ratio so if the first section gives profit the second section will give loss if the first section give loss the second section will give profit so in this way memorandum revaluation account will be opened so this memorandum re memorandum revaluation account will be open only if the partner agree that there should not be any change in the assets allowed first they change it then re reverse it first after making the change the profit will be shared by old partners in old ratio after reversing the profit or loss will be shared by all partners including new partner in the new profit generation that's it now adjustment regarding accumulated profit or loss at the time of admission of a new partner the old partners balance sheet shows some reserves or accumulated profit profit and loss account credit balance these are called accumulated profits so before the new partner enters the accumulated profit will be shared by the old partners in the old profit sharing ratio so what is the entry reserves account debit profit and loss account debit to old partners capital account credit that means by debiting reverse reserve account reserve account will get closed by debiting profit and loss account profit and loss account will get closed and the amount will be transferred to old partners capital account in the old profit sharing ratio that's it next point is ascertainment of new profit sharing ratio whenever a new partner is admitted the profit sharing ratio will change earlier only two partners were there so 
profit sharing ratio was different now three partners are there the profit or profit uh, sharing ratio will get changed so how to change the profit sharing ratio here when a new partner is admitted in the absence of any agreement it is assumed that the old partners as between themselves will continue to share profits in the old profit sharing ratio if nothing is given in the partnership deed then what is the assumption the assumption is after admitting the new partner the old partners will share the profit among themselves in the old ratio in the old ratio that means first they, they will give the share of profit to the new partner after giving that share whatever profit is left that profit will be shared by old partners in the old ratio that is the assumption now this is after giving the agreed share to the new partner the remaining share should be divided among the old partner just now i told first of all we have to deduct the new share new ratio of the new partner new ratio of the new partner we have to deduct the remaining profit will be shared by old partners in the old ratio that is the rule from one the share of the new partner is deducted and the remaining share should be divided among the old partners in the old ratio for example if the new partner's share is 1 by 5 already a and b are the old partners c is the new partner and we are uh, i mean admitting c for a share of 1 fifth that means in future 1 fifth share will be given to c so remaining share will be 1 minus 1 by 5 you will get 4 by 5 that 4 fifth profit remaining profit will be shared by old partners in the old profit sharing ratio now for example with the help of an example i want to explain suppose a and b are partners sharing profits and loss in the ratio of 3 is to 2 the old ratio between a and b is 3 is to 2 that means 3 by 5 2 by 5 C is admitted on an as one fifth share in the profits. Suppose a new partner C is being admitted and he is given a share of one fifth in the total profits. Whatever total profit of the firm is there, one fifth of the profit goes to C. That is the agreement. Then the future profit sharing ratio will be calculated as follows. How to calculate the new profit sharing ratio in future between A, B and C? C's share is one fifth. So remaining share will be 1 minus 1 by 5 you will get 4 by 5 4 fifth is the remaining share after giving the share to C now A's new share is 4 by 5 into what is the old ratio of A 3 by 5 3 is to 2 3 is to 2 means 3 by 5 2 by 5 is it clear now 4 fifth is the remaining share and 3 by 5 is the old share now multiply 4, 3 is a 12, 5, 5 is a 25. 12 by 25 is the new share of A. Old share was 3 by 5. New share is 12 by 25. Similarly, B's share. B's new share. So how much is the remaining here? 4 by 5 into. What is the old ratio? 2 by 5. So 4 by 5 into 2 by 5, 8 by 25. So 8 by 25 is the new share of B. Right, the new share of A, B, and C in future will be the A's new share is 12 by 25, B's new share is 8 by 25, and C's share already given 1 fifth, 1 by 5. Because the denominator here is 25, 25, but here only 5. So we can convert 1 by 5 into divide by 25, multiplying 5 by 5, multiplying numerator and denominator by 5. For example, if I multiply 5 by 5, then what will happen? 5 ones are 5 and 5 fives are 25. Now all the denominators are same, 25, 25, 25. So ratio will be 12 is to 8 is to 5. This is the future profit sharing ratio between A, B and C. This is the method of calculating new profit sharing ratio. And the last topic, last adjustment to be made whenever a new partner is admitted is adjustment of capital in proportion of new profit sharing ratio. This point is not there in every problem, few problems, few cases are there where old partner says our capital account should be adjusted according to new profit sharing ratio. Capital accounts should be adjusted according to new profit sharing ratio. 
So sometimes the capital account of partners are agreed to be in proportion to the profit sharing ratio. The partners decide that our capital should be according to profit sharing ratio. If our profit share, if our share of profit is more, we have to contribute more capital. If the share of profit of a partner is less, his capital should also be less. So cash capital should be in proportion to profit sharing ratio. In some cases, the capital of the new partner is made the basis for arriving at capital of old partners. There are two methods of adjustment of partner's capital. The first method is take the new partner's capital as base and adjust the old partner's capital according to the new partner's capital. For example, C is the new partner. He, he has brought some 50,000 rupees as his capital for one fifth share. So for one fifth share, he is bringing 50,000 capital. Now the new share of A is 12 by 25. For 12 by 25 share, how much should be his capital for A? Similarly, B. For one fifth share, C is bringing 50,000 capital for one fifth share. What is B's share? B's share is 8 by 25. For 8 by 25, how much should be the capital? We have to find out. In this way, we adjust the old partner's capital according to the capital of the new partner. This is one method. Second method is, in some other cases, the combined capital of old partner is made the basis for determining the capital of the new partner. Reverse way. We find out what is the combined capital of A and B. And this combined capital is for the ratio of A and B. For example, in the previous example, one fifth share is given to C. How much is the remaining share? Remaining share is four fifth. That means the combined capital for four fifth share combined capital is so and so rupees. So for one fifth share, how much? How much capital C should bring in? according to the combined capital of A and B. In this way, the capital account will be adjusted according to profit sharing ratio. When capital of old partners are adjusted, sometimes the old partner has to bring further cash or sometimes the firm will pay back excess capital to the old partners. After the adjustment of capital accounts, now we will find out the old partner's capital may be excess if the old partner's capital is excess, the firm will refund, will repay back. Suppose if the old partner's capital is less, the firm will ask the old partner to bring further cash. Like that, capital account will be adjusted. That's it. So we have completed the theoretical part of accounting treatment on admission of a partner. Inshallah, in the next video, I'll start the theory of retirement and death of partner.